ยามาโกดุเปรีปงเวรีเนเอตะชิเปอะวังกวานาเมตอชิเปโหดอยินกาติเอตะชิเปฟอนซอกุปกเปกุชิเปโหดอยินกาติโอติจาเวเปดิโ
ma ko do pede kon salomo ma ko do pede kon pede pede to se wa so ye ma to pede kon e te si pe Eta sipe kosa kupo pe kosipe kodo ne ka e ina re pe di to se waso ne ma to pe di ko mo ne ma ko do pe di ko salomo ma ko do pe di ko gwe di ina re pe di to se waso ne ma to pe di ko mo ne ma ko do pe di ko Salomo ma ko do pe de ko gbe de ni pe di to se wa so ni ma do pe de ko e awon ba na ni to si pe ko do ye ka ti e te si pe fun san ku ko pe ko si pe ko do ye ka ti ni ja we pe di to se wa so ni ma do pe de ko gbe de Ne ma ko do pe de ko salu mo ma ko do pe de ko gbe de. Ne ma ko do pe de ko salu mo ma ko do pe de ko gbe de. Ye te si pe. Ete si pe, o pe ko si pe, o pe ne ka di, di ya e pe di do se wa so, ne ma ko pe di ko gbe, ne ma ko do pe di ko salu mo ma ko do pe di ko gbe di, di ya e pe di do se wa so, ne ma ko pe di ko gbe di, ne ma ko do pe di ko salu mo ma ko do pe de kon gbe de pe di do se wa so ne ma do pe de kon gbe de ete si pe a ma ta ni ta si pe o ta ni ta ni ete si pe a ma ta ni ta si pe o ta ni ta ni ni ya we pe di do se wa so ne ti
as for the apostles, chapter 19, from verse 1 to 20. Oh, mon Dieu, à fond, oui, ton mère. Nous prenons la gauche, tu vois, il y a eu ton rang dans le mi-ton. Naïe qui crée son oué ou alors apposé le lait-ton. Au taille ton fort-ton, oué, né. Besson à foi ton titan, tout y est pour. In Jesus' name, our Savior, Heavenly Father, we read your message and ask your Holy Spirit to explain it to us. Let us understand. Let understand your living way. Let understand the word of your Holy Spirit. Bless us through your knowledge. Not to miss this education. In Jesus' name. This passage we just read shows something to us and it is convenient to understand them. While Apollos was at current, Paul e hon wezun a ganu oto aziaton kaka doje efesu It is at this very moment that Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus Emo David le to fine He found there some disciples and told them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Yes, I don't know. They answered him that. No, we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, saying, Into John's baptism. And Paul told them that John baptized with the baptism of repentance. Telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hand upon them, the Holy Spirit came on them. And they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And 
There were about 12 of them in all. So here is one of the things that we should know through this part. If I preach you the gospel of God, and you believe, and you believe, after they preach you the gospel, they should preach over the water baptism. And after you reject all your sins, you will get ready to be baptized into water. The first step to be undertaken is to be preached about the baptism of the Lord in the water and you will reject all your sins after this, you shall be baptized and immersed in water. After receiving the baptism of water and uh, stay, stay firm in your repentance, you will be expecting the promise of the Lord. When Christ, when Christ will come, all those who believe and were baptized in his name, they shall have faith and expectation in the Holy Spirit that he should come upon them. And the Lord Christ will accomplish his promise by baptizing them through the Holy Spirit since the latter are expecting this. Those people that Paul encountered they were reading the Bible. They were praying. But they have never listened to any preaching instruction upon the Holy Spirit. But they stay firm in repentance. When Paul once Paul reached them out, Paul saw all of them in the appearance of a good worshiper. For those one, he didn't preach any repentance to them. What did he ask them? He asked after the sign through which Jesus will baptize them, this is what he asked for them. So after you believing, did you receive the Holy Spirit? And they answered him, they have never even heard about it. We have never heard that there is a Holy Spirit that should come upon us. In that moment, Paul preached over the Holy Spirit to them and lay upon them his hands 
in order to make them receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit came down upon them. And they spoke in tongues and have prophesied. So, brothers and sisters, Aisha, you believe in Christ. You repent. You are praying. You shall expect the arrival of the Holy Spirit upon your life. If you don't have any other covet covetousness, and it's only Jesus Christ's word that abides in your heart. You should have this understanding that you shall receive the Holy Spirit. Once the latter come upon you, you shall speak in tongues. You shall prophesize. Through this Holy Spirit, it will, re it will reveal you what will come in future. That's why I used to tell you that we need not to seek for overseers of a, those one who can prophesy, no. It is upon your bed that you will be speaking with Lord and he can reveal himself to you clearly. Nothing can come in darkness and cover you. You shall see him clearly. Because it is the spirit of vision that comes from the Holy Spirit of the Lord. This spirit is that one that can show something which is going to happen in future or now. That's why this spirit is not a spirit of darkness. He will show you everything clearly. If something darkens you, you shall see the Lord will make it clear for you and you should see it openly. If you, if you found something very good, you shall ask it in the name of Jesus. In, in Jesus' name, it shall be fulfilled. If it's about a bad thing that you saw, you should say that I don't want to see this and that this one shall, should not come at all. So after believing, and uh, went through the baptism of water, you will be expecting the baptism that should come from heaven. If Jesus finds you as one belonging to his people in his church, he shall baptize you. Because Jesus knows everyone belonging to him in his church, all over the world, he knows them, and he shall baptize you, baptize you with his Holy Spirit. Since the moment I was preaching this and I was telling it, those who have experienced experiment this one, 
are aware and recognize that it used to be so. Those one who have never experienced this one will be in a stony position, say that, oh, I have never experimented or saw, see something like that. After having faith, you shall be expecting the arrival of this Holy Spirit upon your life, and when you talk, it shall be it shall be accomplished, and when you give testimony, people that has already experimented will know and recognize that yes, it is true, the one that you receive. The Holy Spirit is that spiritual personality dedicated to all those who belong to God and receive instructions and they hope in Him it is destined to them. When Paul after Paul stretching his hand upon them and pray on their favor, the Holy Spirit came down on them. And Paul was observing them and noticed that they were prophesying. And he also noticed that they were speaking in tongues and he gave thanks to the Lord. And what those believers lacked in that moment is that the Holy Spirit, but before that they have already received the word of repentance and they believe in Christ. Christ. After having faith to this, while Paul was preaching, all of them who asked after this and they didn't know it, all of them who had faith receive it and it was so for them. Because since the moment the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles, since that moment, the Holy Spirit himself used to surveil everyone and are waiting for the latter to be repented and he will get down in their life. After believing in Christ, you will be expecting, you will be praying the arrival of the Holy Spirit in your life. You shall receive it. It can be in an assembly. It can also be you only in your house. It will be in your farm. It can be when you are cooking. You can be washing your clothes. But the, but the one seeking the, the Holy Spirit never keeps someone in his heart. He is free in his heart and he receives it. All those waiting for the arrival of the Holy Spirit are in joy. And 
mai kan je li tu e do bo tu e ne kwa nkan mo gi bo we yi amon ko no agona ya je bo gona ko me hu bo gona li le do ko ayi do ko tre bo to to jao se ha me ko ye ko to ko me ha me ko ye ko to agun tu e me le ko ayi tu e to tre le o wa gbo we no je te wa me yi de me si ayi to mo le we no mo yi if you are filled up with other evil spirits i can testify but if you are filled with the holy spirit and you are in joy you are dealing with everyone with joy in happiness and you are free and unique in your heart the holy spirit shall descend upon your life do ye me we are the paul mo ele because all of us 12 were ko baptized that were baptized and the holy spirit didn't get down on them do you call the point that you to since they were a wait for that holy spirit boya i do call in the kobo do jao e to se and we were worshiping in one heart the lord e wa e ji the holy spirit came on them kaka je gbe mo e gbete ni e till today it is so o to e me me de ma ko mo e ile mi ni do yi se ne ko no te point de ka no no te point bon that you who haven't received it be expecting and wait for him and set your heart in one in unity for him and you shall receive it it is what i'm describing you will see sin before jesus went up in the heaven he told his disciples me not to Jerusalem go and wait for for me at Jerusalem go to the hope and be there praying kaka o pagbede o todo ni to jade wa mi ji till you receive the promise given by the father ni pagbe lo jade wa mi ji when you receive this promise mi na mo hun lo yi you shall receive power o na do la won da gbegun ayi won le ko me in order to preach the gospel of god throughout the whole world et tel du jesus christ et do pagbe na do baptisi de vie ton le gbon gbo wo dali o dara ira ye ni gbo wo wa ye ji ye na mo hu lo yi why did jesus promise to preach and uh, give baptism upon them and after this they will receive the power why did he tell them so eyin ro le gba si ho ran to avun pe na ma wu si ho to gbe lo me eyin ro le gba ho ran tin eyin nu eyin le gba ti ho ran bo tin to gbe lo me le eyin o he knows that the power of the devil was uh, rebelling fighting against the the power of the lord in this world ni e ma mo ho ran si wo ya we ton yi if you have christ me wa if you have not received the power of the lord in jesus a o vi my gan ho to nu kan to we satan can't flee from you a je to my gan ho to nu kan to we wizard or witches can't flee from you nu yin kan de no wule nu du to gbe me fi le ye ma si gan ho to nu kan to we all the devouring people can't flee from you an no te afun ton ye ra no ti afun ton ha we we if you face them they shall fight this combat with you but when you receive the power of the lord after you receive the baptism of the holy spirit you shall proclaim and speak and they will comply seriously with your commandment because you have been empowered with this power christ gave you power be you say to jesus me so no rien mais to ko ron to le gba po so afun to eton le ko ji so having faith in jesus christ will make you powerful and get victory over your enemies ko ron la ti to yi ko eton me this power abides in his name and as san yi ko eton to do ho le gba ko awon vi pe eton le ko ron so se bo ron wi we to nu kan to we you shall take control through his name over everything and the devil and his mercenary shall bow down be me ma ko mo gbogbo uwe yi bukan wa church a o baptize o a mo baptize o 
akato nu kuno din nu e kuno mi te le ko ba tem kon ja me ma ko ba ti si le je yi me ko so ba ti si le gbigbo uwe kon ja e ka so je yi yi se to e ni yun e do pa gbe mo nkan tin na we wa ka do na mo yi ma san ya we blo a mo e all those attending church or not receiving instruction of god be faithful in it and stay fast and be expecting the arrival of the holy spirit and you shall receive it in a good after this one a fashion ton ton do na mi do verse 8 told us that to in a good after this paul be a synagogue man paul entered the synagogue boto hodo na ye fe kakana so ato and was teaching them speaking to them for three months eto hodo yi a hodo lo ton ton le hodo je fe a hodo lo ton le enewe eto di dona ye he was preaching them the gospel of god and the, all the things related to the kingdom of god so after receiving the gospel of God, it means that you are going straight to the kingdom of God. And he was making all the effort, preaching to them before the time of the arrival of the kingdom of God. Why Paul was speaking boldly? Everyone's time is set and uh, it is related to the kingdom of God and each of us here has his time. It may be here, it may be in your house and different places. A given time, it can come. We, shall, we can be speaking, preaching here, and someone can pass away and uh, get into the kingdom of God. But the whole for the universe that is coming is about Jesus that will come in the cloud, and everyone shall see him. All those who believe are entering the kingdom of God indeed. And they are waiting to be set around the table with Abraham. He was preaching, pleading, according to the kingdom of God, because each of us has his time on this earth. Verse 9 told us that. There are some people among this crowd, and they were stubborn, and they are very hard and disbelieved. Concerning the case, they were there speaking evil of the way of God, criticizing everything, underrating under everything in the congregation of God. You can, you 
You can see several of them who used to come here and you will get out with them together and they will be there slandering people, giving mockery, but he used to come here. Ne <laughs> If you see them, they slander, they talk bad talk against your congregation, you can follow them and support them. There are some people like that, be they white or African, numerous in the world. This is what, what, this is what their behavior and they used to spread it everywhere. When they parle more, after Paul noticed this one, all those who are following the gospel of God strictly, he set them apart. And find a place to them in Tyranny's school. And started teaching them the kingdom of God words. Paul stayed with them for about two years. Within those two years, those who, those who dwell in Asia, Jews or Greeks, all of them heard the good news of God. These bad event is still happening in our, among our congregation, and those one who are, who said to be elders, criticizing, giving some people and uh, taking away some other people, we let them down with the church that they built, and we call upon all those who believe in Christ and they set apart to follow Jesus in another way. <laughs> Where lies great numbers of people, there are also evil people, evil things there. But if the Lord divides them into different parts, they recognize them and they call upon those one who are aside and teach them according to the doctrine of Jesus and uh, they follow the way of the Lord and the other follow also the way. No matter how they preach the gospel to some people, they keep on their sins, they keep on criticizing, they keep on doing bad things. Paul, they said, Paul, abandon them and carry in another way, in another place, the, those one who are following Jesus. And continue preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ that they never underrate, he continued in that sense. He taught them the instruction of Jesus for about two years. In a way that a lot of people living in that area, they listen to the gospel of God too. 
After selecting the Son of God from the devilish one and was instructing them, verse 11 told us that God did extraordinary miracles by hands of Paul in a way that handkerchief or clothes or apron with sweat when it touched a sick man he received healing. And all the evil spirits came out of them. Came out of those one upon whom they put the clothes. Do you see the power of the Holy Spirit? The body of Apostle Paul has become miraculous. Any cloth, any handkerchief touch Paul's, it becomes miracles, wonder. And all the spirits, evil spirits, came out. Glory be to Jesus Christ. If you let your whole heart to the Lord, if you open your heart to the Lord and dedicate your, your body to the Lord, this is what you shall see. Because the gift through which people will have the need, this power will be set in your life. Verse 13. When the repute of Jesus Christ was going further and further, it is at that very moment that the itinerant Jews called the exorcists undertook also to pronounce the name. They, in return, they got the desire to use the name of Jesus in order to heal people. And they said, We adjure you by the name of Jesus, Jesus whom Paul preaches to get out from these bodies. Those doing such a thing were about seven, and the father, who, who was a Jew, was among them. And the evil spirit answered them. He said, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But you, I don't know you. Who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was attacked them. 
and overpower them and destroy and beat them and hurt them and tears all their clothes and dresses and naked they run out from his house do you know that there is something have you ever seen it Till today, it exists, such a thing. Those one on whom the evil spirits get and destroy their life and they become mad. And they become mad. Vo those seven people would like to borrow the name of Jesus in order to use it, but the evil spirit attacked them. When this even happened in that country, all of them were afraid. But Jesus because and the repute, the name of Jesus was glorified in that nation. A lot of them that believed, they confess their sins. Declaring openly the bad practices. All those who had covetousness with the evil spirits and they were following magic practices and arts, they brought all their books. The Bible said that the, the value of those books are very important. The money is about 50,000 pieces of silver. And the word of God grew and prevailed mightily. So, brothers and sisters, if Paul asks the believers that if they have already received the Holy Spirit and they say no, Paul know quite well the reason why he asked such a question. All over the world, all in all nations, there are people with evil spirits. If the gospel of God, the scriptures of God, is about to be rooted in a nation, they rebel and started fighting this with one. When we sent all those messages concerning Jesus Christ overseas and in other nations, we got a lot of, a lot of fighting, rebellion, coming afar, and uh, Jesus encountered them, and uh, we overcome all the different battles. Because 
they said they shall come in order to test and see what kind of power is working. And the Lord encountered them, encountered them and they all flee away. As there are a lot of people preaching the gospel of God throughout the world, so also exist all the preachers of evil spirits. Even, I can say, a lot of people haven't received Jesus in this world. When receiving Jesus Christ, by receiving Jesus Christ, and you have other power hidden under your bed or somewhere, you're reading magic arts, books, be, behead with, behold with what happened with this young man in this path that we read. If you combine with another spirit and you hide it, you don't confess it, you don't say it, and you are praying something bad can happen with you. For that reason, when you reach out Jesus Christ, recognize what the gospel of God called prohibition and let it down. Worship God joyfully with one heart, with one thought, and go aside evil behavior and expect the Holy Spirit and ask Jesus Christ's power. The Gospel of God said, It's Jesus only who brought the power with we, with we, he can baptize. It is Jesus only who brought it. If you search Jesus with your whole heart, and he give it to you, he will, you will receive this power. And among his nine gifts, he can give you one or two. It's sufficient to work in divine way for him. When he appointed Paul and he gave it his, you see how he got this power and he worked. After appointing Peter, you saw the power that worked over him and what he did throughout the whole universe. As for us, we are still working. No one can give testimony. It is after us that can give testimony. So, brothers and sisters, when the wicked search God, he never see him. But when the writers seek him, he used to see him and encounter him. If you haven't received yet the Holy Spirit, be there, be expecting, be praying, you shall receive it, and he will give it to you in order to testify himself to you. 
You shall receive it and we shall see and know and testify that it is God's power who is the Holy Spirit that is working in you. May Jesus bless each of you.
What the Lord required from His people, we listen to them. In order to grant them the Holy Spirit, faith and obedience. All those two elements are required in order to receive. He who belongs to Him won't miss it. May everyone have faith in order to receive it. So may everyone bow down and pray. Talk to Jesus Christ concerning everything your need related do you have a trial do you have temptation do you have a pose problem set it before the lord it will be so it will be accomplished to you in jesus name our savior everlasting king in jesus name we pray on behalf of your whole congregation. Be there white or black in all the nations, in all the languages. May your peace follow them, Lord. May your good blessing keep on them. Give them victory over the different enemies. 
Let not be darkened by the darkness. And retrieve the sickness from the body. Grant them force and strength. And bless all the work. And also intellectual work. Bless them massively before. Let not miss the kingdom of God. Let us be and enter, really. Let us be successful throughout this week. Make straight before us. This is we ask for. And we believe that you have received us. In Jesus Christ's name, our Savior. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Glory be to Jesus Christ in the heaven.